I'm here to show you a really important but a really underrated skill and that is the ability to fill out your profile. <laughs> now why is this so important you might ask? Well it's because it's like a gateway of you expressing yourself saying a lot or a little about who you are to other residents of Second Life. So here's how we get to your profile. The first part, you right click on your avatar. Make sure it's not an attachment. Attachment are the prims, primitive objects, because otherwise you get this message and I know it's a bit confusing. So if possible, click on a bare part of your skin or clothing that is not made of these building blocks, these prims, because I have prim hair on. But certainly my midsection, I can click <laughs> like Pillsbury. And you see profile, this is what you click on. Okay, you see it's all blank, that's sad. If you find it difficult to right click, you can also head right to the edit menu and then go to profile. That is an alternate way. So today, I find myself with a blank profile that I wish to fill in. First off, well, the easiest part is to just start typing about yourself. Uh, I like long walks on the beach and surrealist art fantasy. It can be up to 500 chars characters. <laughs> And you can you can elaborate, you can put funny little ASCII art bits. But just say your interests and what you're here to do perhaps. Although there's other sections as we'll see. Okay. Ah now this this you see, anytime you see a gray X like this in Second Life, you can actually click on it, believe it or not. Click on it to put a photo in there. So let's just grab something quick. Uh it could be a Yeah, but it doesn't look like me. Although I could save it, I just clicked OK, and it will still come up, and it shows that. You see, I've saved this. So now other people, when they're looking at my profile, if they right-click me and they choose to view my profile, they'll see this. But I'm going to show you how to take a photo of yourself. This is really, really important. I'm walking around looking for... Okay, I like this piece of art here. Ooh, just bump right into it. I think I'll just turn around, and then I'll hold Alt key. Okay, hold Alt and click. You see, I can get move my camera around. Alt click and move my mouse into zoom. Alt click and I'm holding Alt and control right now. You see how it changes that? So it orbits and I move in and I move in again with just Alt. It's a bit tricky at first but Alt click and move your mouse up. There. I have the blue within blue eyes of a Dune character. <laughs> now snapshot. That's exactly what that is. Click that. Okay. You see it shows a preview. Now, the thing is you want to do, upload a snapshot is what you want to do because it uploads it into your inventory as a photographic texture. There. Okay. I just had to. You can just click new snapshot to refresh that. It's pretty much straightforward once you get a hang of it. I know there's lots of buttons, but just do what I did. <laughs> and I just upload. Now, let's wait for this. Click, click. Ooh, there's people around. Let's just wait for it to upload. I'll show you what happens next. Several agonizing seconds later, <laughs> it'll show you this. Remember, it costs 10 lindens to upload a picture, so take a good one. Confirm it, just OK. Yeah, now you've got your picture here. Now, where can you find that? Where can you find it? You can find it in your inventory in the photo album. That's where, when you upload a texture like that, you upload a photo, it ends up in the photo album. I know it's a bit confusing to have a photo album and a textures, and you can move it back and forth. But just remember, if it has an icon like that, that little icon, it means someone, either you or someone else, took it in world and uploaded it, as opposed to file menu, upload image, which is where you can upload something from your hard drive. And you can also use that as a profile picture. But let's just keep straight. So right click game profile. Now, just click that. I don't want to be a basket weave, please. And you can either, okay, I'll show you. Um, you can click photo album and you select the snapshot and you'll see, you see, yeah, that's me. Haha, <laughs> hello, it's a little squashed, but it don't do. The other way you can do it, if you, um, let me blank it, okay? I'm blank, oh, no identity, that's freaky. Just click, drag, see the cursor changes and release. Got that? Ah, oh, back to normal, oh no! Click, drag, release, voila. Okay, okay, so what else can I do? So, let's see. 
Uh, don't pay any heed to this for now. Your profiles aren't published in the web. This is supposed to be a forthcoming feature, which is not here yet. So don't worry about that. It's not up. Um, click the web tab. Now this is really handy. If you have a blog, a web page, other sort of thing on the internet you want to show, you just type that in. So I'll just go with what's easy for me, which is my personal website, lalatoile.com. And it'll just load it up in a brief moment. Oh boy, I need to optimize my page load times. <laughs> well, here we go. And remember, you can click that open to view it in full in your web browser. Firefox, Internet Explorer, and so on and so forth. Next, okay. Interests. These are pretty rudimentary. We recently added this language, so you can say, you know, I speak English and Klingonese or whatever, and Hut, you know, Jabba the Hut's language, Huttese, I think that's Huttese, oh, not Huttese, Huttese, and um, you can say, you know, I want to build, I also want to uh, create conundrums and prim puzzles and skills, if you check off what you want, like you like architecture, you like custom characters, you say, I am an experienced, av whoop, Avatar creator. Sometimes emoticons help, sometimes you may not want them because of your style. Next, okay, the Pics tab. Let's go a little field trip here. So the whole purpose of this Pics tab is just like it says, tell everyone about your favorite places in Second Life. There's several ways to access that. You may already be familiar. I'll just show you something really basic, something really silly, random, fun. Click map button. Okay, scroll out. I have a mouse wheel. Please use a mouse wheel. They're nice. And okay, just teleport to, I don't know, three miles sounds fun. La la la, just waiting at the teleport. Come on, come on, send me. Send me. Oh, come on. There we go. Teleport it. Okay, we're here. So, Pix will create a new landmark within your profile for wherever you are currently standing in world. So I'm right here. Notice it says three mile where the coordinates are. I just click new. Go ahead and it adds that. Now the cool thing, you can change the name. Like, I really like being here. Or what does that mean? Oh no, that's just silly. <laughs> I'm just getting my sillies. But what you can also do, in spite of it showing a picture, you can click to choose another one. So if you took a picture yourself, like I just go back, remember what I did? Just snapshot and just upload that. Give this a moment. See, it shows it right there, preview, upload. Duh, 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 duh. And just like before, you'll find that you have been charged 10 lindens and you have the snapshot. Now, don't want to end up with too many snapshots named snapshot, so you want to rename three mile picture, for example. Don't leave these all unnamed because they get really hard to find later. You'll know it when your inventory is all clogged up. Keep things tidy. So as you know, you can click, drag, release, and it changes it. I really like being here. I like looking at the sign. Reminds me of a Mondrian painting. So you can share your personal expressions and you can also change the location. Say I move a bit and you can say, yeah, I want it to be here instead. So it should update, should update, yep. You can show it on the map. Other residents, when they're looking, they'll, they'll see that so they can find out where that is. And teleport will let you teleport right to there. And then you just keep adding as necessary. Dun, dun, dun. Now something really popular I know a lot of residents do is they add pictures of their friends in here that they don't have to necessarily be tied to places. It could be like a friend's picture at their house or whatever. It's up to you. So whether it's places or people, you tell everyone about your ferrets, your pics. Ooh, nice skyline. <laughs> Let me just close that for, to tidy up some clutter. And now we're on the classifieds tab. This is for advertising. If you have products to sell, a service, some such thing, just click new and it tells you, just read the fine print. Make sure to read the fine print. Know what you're doing, okay? And you can advertise things. It's like, I'll just put a picture of my, myself again and say, I'm offering my beanie hat. You can look at it. I know it's strange, but true. Okay, this is just a totally fictional example. Be realistic here. <laughs> and what you can do there, you can set a location which it's at. Like if you have a store, you want to put it at your land. And then you can you need to specify if it's mature adult content and such and such, what it is. Like it's a, it's a, I, I guess it's, it's personal. <laughs> and you can set to auto renew if you don't want to worry about renewing your classifieds. It will, ch ch it will charge you automatically for it. And then you go to publish and you set a price for the ad, okay? Keep your budget in mind. This is up to your own discretion. And then I set a price. Okay. They ask you to confirm, you sure? Yes, okay. 
Now it updates, you see all that. Now where do you find your classified? After you've advertised it, it goes live right away. It goes right in here. Search. Okay. Back to that. So classifieds, and you can type beanie. I bet there's not going to be a lot of people. Oh, there's a few people, but see, I'm right here. I'm offering my beanie hat. You can look at it. I know it's strange, but true. And then you can close that again. So you see what that is. But okay, something that is blocked because my window is too small here. I really should be showing you though. Okay, let me hide the toolbar. This is inconvenient. But you see these buttons, teleport, show and map, profile. These are tracked, which means that if you go to your profile and look, other residents can't see this, just you, but clicks, it shows the number of times someone has clicked through using these buttons, which helps you uh, maximize and spot efficiencies and room for improvement with your targeted classified campaign, however you may choose to do it. Wow, gorgeous skyline there. <laughs> well, anyway, before I get distracted, profile, you see how I minimized it, tucked it out of the way, just click that little button there. Now we're in the first life tab. Don't ever feel pressure to fill this out. This is completely at your choice. There's no obligation, as those infomercials say. All you gotta do is provide a photo it doesn't even have to be a real photo view again it's your choice some people fill this with abstract random silly things like I'm about to like you know I could say okay let me look in the for textures I could say that I'm a I'm a rocky road that's what I am in real life I'm a rocky road in this internet thing on this second life <laughs> and I could say something like in my first life I'm a doctor really I have an MD in mad skills dude yeah and as always, okay to save, and then you open it back up, and it'll be saved, so other people will be able to view it. Like theirs. Now, the final tab. I keep finding myself in strange land. So I'm gonna open the toolbar back up, and I'm gonna show you the last tab, which is my notes. Now, this isn't a part of just your profile, but for each other resident you come across, you can fill in something about them. Hello. I'm filling out my profile. <laughs> so you can right click on any other resident and leave my notes and it'll appear as part of their records like I talked to him when I was filling out my profile so you close that and anytime you see another resident same resident you've left notes on you will see the notes however I've known this to be unreliable and one really bad thing is you can't search through your notes which means you don't know who you left notes for oh should really fill yours out. It's important. And it helps share yourself with other people so they can get to know you better. It really does. <laughs> So as Odysseus Sinclair here says, the way I see it, just want to know me, just ask, because he doesn't really have his profile filled out. But one thing I do notice, he does have groups. And I'm going to show you how to join a group, the social. One really fundamental reason for filling out your profile is because some people are going to be shy. They might never ask. Now, search groups tab. Okay, say I want, I'm in a country music saloon. So if I say you want country, I don't know, this place may even have a group I can join. Well, we'll find out. Now you're going to look for somewhere that has, um, oh, is open enrollment, which means the join button is highlighted. Some are closed because groups have all sorts of options. Okay. Like this one, for example, it doesn't have that. Country Western Dancers Unite. Sounds good to me. Join. And this would be the Lynn Dollar enrollment fee. But luckily, this one is free. So let's join this one. And yeehaw, I've been added to the group. Now, what you're also likely to be able to see, oh, I don't have my group title showing. Let me get that up so you can see it on top of my head. Uh, let's see. There we go. And remember, hide my group title. Should be unchecked so you can see it. Country Dance Club. Now you know you belong to that group. How do you also know? Edit menu, groups, and it'll be active. Your currently active group, yeehaw, is displayed in bold. Now, if you go and right click yourself again, you're familiar with this profile. And now it says groups, member of Country Western Dancers Unite. <laughs> so now that you've learned how to fill out your profile, once you've done it, you'll hopefully feel a lot more confident, self-expressive, and happy. In fact, you may even feel like dancing. <laughs> Thank you graciously for watching.
inspired by love. Round 